This is Chippy from UMC Portal and Ultrabook News and this is a, a video to accompany part 5 of the Ultra Mobile video editing series and to demo uh, a process of um, editing, rendering and uploading to YouTube using uh, the Sandy Bridge uh, based platform I've got here. It's the Samsung Series 9, the 900X3A with the 1.4 GHz Core i5 second gen, 128 gig, uh, I think it's 128 gig uh, SSD in this, it's a fast SSD um, and I'm going to be using Adobe Elements and Cyberlink Media Espresso um, and a 30, uh, 21 megabit per second source file from an SX30 IS. So let's get uh, Premiere Elements up and zoom in on the uh, on the window here so you can see what's going on. We'll start a new project. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the file and I'm going to just top and tail it with maybe a, a title and stuff. So we're using trial version here. Overwrite the original uh, project that I was using earlier. Here's the uh, source file. We're going to drop that onto the uh, the timeline. And uh, what we will do in addition is put um, a photo in as well. So drag a couple of photos in here. We'll put those at the end, and then we'll put a, um, a title on the start. This is a title. That's good. We'll do that. We'll go to timeline mode now, and just make sure that title is ahead of the um, video content. We will fade the title in and this is kind of echoing a very similar process to what I use when I'm uh, video blogging fade in audio and video and we'll fade out audio and video and we'll put a title on the end as well title new title default um, crawl that was fun. Okay. And just put some more text here. Thanks for watching. Difficult to type while I'm behind the camera. Let's get rid of the rest of the, the text there. Okay. Come on, get rid of that. Good, all right, um, I think that's about it. Right, let's put that in to the timeline. And where is it, or is it, did it move up, move up, move up? There it is, we need to move it down here somewhere. And just make sure it goes into the end of the video file, where it's not too important. We'll fade it in though. Right. So let's render that out. It's about one minute, um, one minute of video, and I'm going to render it out using the Intel QuickSync plugin for Adobe Premiere uh, Elements, and that uses the QuickSync uh, technology. So um, I've got a preset here, which is a six megabit per second, 720p, 30 frames a second. We're going to output that now. That's uh, going. That takes about. Uh, 40 seconds I've got a uh, timer going here as well add a couple of seconds to that because I started it after the rendering process um, that's a really really fast rendering process considering it's a 20 megabit input file although the uh, frame size is not changing during the editing process here there are pictures text uh, overlays and fades to consider here so there's a, some CPU work going in there as well and we should be done in about 35 uh, seconds if I add the couple of seconds on the top there you go so that was uh, literally about 36 seconds right let's close that and now we'll go to the video upload process so the video upload process uses Cyberlink Media Espresso again I'm on a trial version here which also supports Intel QuickSync technology so it's not just going to upload the file here, 
it's going to do a little bit more. It's actually going to convert it down to a YouTube uh, friendly bitrate. It's going to retain 720p, but um, if we just do upload to YouTube, we use SmartFit, we enable hardware acceleration, and then we tick upload converted files, and we convert that now. You should see how quickly that one minute video uh, converts into a lower bitrate. So that's pushing through now. It's going to be done in about five seconds, so it's a very, very short process to compress the file by 3x, which if you're um, wanting to, uh, let's just kick that uh, upload off, I've pre-installed, pre-entered uh, my password, we'll put the title on that, uh, fast test, and we'll just kick off that upload. So if you look, if you're a video uh, journalist, a news journalist, a video blogger, and time is important, then pushing down the file size for upload is also very important because that can be the longest part of the process. Um, so you could even push that down to a 360p style uh, video um, for a very, very quick upload to YouTube, um, which would be done about now, and then would convert very quickly within YouTube as well. Uh, but I'm choosing to upload a 720p here at 2 megabits per second. It's about 11 megabytes is the file. So it's not that uh, not that huge when you consider um, some of the fast 3G technology and, and WiMAX that's around at the moment. So once that's uploaded, we'll go straight to YouTube and we'll see how long it takes to actually appear. Um, so far, I think, um, I think we've done about 7 minutes of... Uh, maybe a bit less, uh, six minutes of video. Uploaded to YouTube, let's go to my account. You can see it's it's there, but it's not ready yet. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of refresh this. So a reminder, that was 150 megabytes worth of source file, a couple of pictures, 30 frames a second, and 21 megabits per second on the bit rate from a, a common bridge camera. Uh, H.264 codec is fairly hefty in terms of needing decent processing power to, to to render it out and to work with it as well. And we've just um, done a very quick edit with uh, top and tail, title, a couple of pictures, and we're up in YouTube already. Now, hopefully, within the next sort of 30 seconds, that's going to be available. And I won't stop the video here because I really want you to see how quick the process is. I'm going to just quickly click through to the uh, video itself and you'll see it's not ready yet. I ha I'm not a partner with this account so I'm not getting any preferential rendering treatment here. And the title is wrong obviously as well. So there is the 240p version already and in probably 10 seconds the uh, 360p version will be ready and then we'll be only another 30 seconds until the 480p, there's the 360p version, it's already up and we should, if I just give that a little, few more clicks, we should be getting the 480p and the 720p version coming in almost at the same time. So I'll say uh, thanks for watching now. This is Chippy from uh, Ultrabook News and umcportal.com. Um, check out the Ultramobile video, video editing uh, posts. There's the 480p version. Um, I think you'll find some interesting stuff if you're into lightweight, fast video blogging. And there's the 720p version up and done. Thanks for watching.